right here, and the uh, the emulsion is on the film. And you first put a, a blank piece of glass without film here, and you arrange your little scene. And when you get the scene arranged, you uh, you block uh, the the laser um, from hitting the scene. You turn out the lights. You open the film container. Put film in place of this bare glass, and uh, then remove the shutter very carefully. Expose it for 10 minutes in the dark, and then it's done. You turn the lights on and you look at it. Now, if you want to come up here yourself and look in here, and uh, oh, so the other thing I should say about this is as what the exposure is. So there's a little LED, a little uh, laser pointer diode here, which you can now buy for a buck anywhere. And you take the lens off. So what you may or may not know is that the, the, uh, if, you, if you have a, a laser diode with no lens, it puts out a broad oval-shaped pattern like this. And you can just rip the lens off. There's usually a little spring and a lens. And you can just pull the top off any uh, red laser pointer and do this. <laughs> and then you get this oval shape. And this does everything for you. So there's no optics in here either. So you not only get rid of the, the wet chemistry, but you get rid of having to have optical elements, which are dirty and dusty, and you have to align them all very carefully. You have to split the beam. You have to expand the both ends of the beam. You have to focus it on the thing. So now what you do is you just say, OK, half this beam is going to be my object beam, and half the beam is going to be the reference beam, because it's wide enough. So if I show you what this beam looks like, there's, there it is. There's no optics in here, but you get this oval-shaped beam coming out of it. And you just have to move the glass far enough away that you're filling up the whole pl film plate with half the beam, and the other half of the beam that's not hitting it is hitting my object here. I don't know if you can see that through it, but that's what's reflecting off the object. So my reference beam that doesn't hit the object, it illuminates the glass. The other part of the beam hits the object and reflects into the glass, causing the interference. And it's dead simple. I mean, you can make it more complicated. You could even use two laser pointers, I think, to, to do the job. But this setup that they give you out of the box is guaranteed to give you a hologram in 10 minutes that it works. So we actually, at this event, this uh, Explore Your Universe event, I put on a workshop in the morning and uh, uh, had um, uh, two different workstations, and we made uh, four different holograms in each. So we made eight holograms in the morning. Everybody that came to the workshop got to take a hologram home, including someone from Cal Poly, who's oh. a physics teacher there uh, this year. And how do they view the hologram? Just with the well, now you need, so here's the, here's the, how do you view the hologram? It's the same setup. So you can come up here one by one and move the car out of the way and look in here. 